Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm actually going to be looking into is the recent change to the experimental build for No Man's Sky on PC that is said to include major performance improvements and optimization tweaks that benefits both AMD users and regular PC users. Now, I am very aware that I am uh, quite late on this and that's because my two days off were of course tied into when something big happens but needless to say what I'm going to be doing today is going over the patch notes explaining some things and generally just summing everything up so with all of that said and done please do sit back and relax Let's get started. Okay, so a little bit of context on what's actually been going on. So on the 16th of April, the No Man's Sky experimental build was updated to include the Vulcan test build. Now this test build is very much a work in progress and as such has not yet been released to the base game. However, in this experimental build, there are a load of PC friendly fixes, some of which have been long requested, like more support for AMD users and other Others which are more quality of life improvements for just running No Man's Sky on a PC. There are a load of really interesting things that have been changed in this experimental build and as I said I just want to go over them for you now. So the blog contains about two paragraphs explaining how optimization is not just for beyond but for the current experimental build and so on. These first two paragraphs don't really need to be read out so I'll skip them but as always the full article will be in the description if you do wish to read everything for yourself. However, the third paragraph is what is important because it reads the following. Final Vulcan support will bring many PC players an immediate performance improvement, but it also helps us increase our options as we continue to make significant engine changes. It is only one portion of a large body of work that will see technical improvements for all players on all platforms. So a quick explanation on what is actually going on here. Now, no no Man's Sky used to use OpenGL as its graphics API. Now this is essentially an interface to program games. I'm not going to pretend like I know what an API is properly because I really just googled it. But what is important is that OpenGL is no longer used in this experimental build. The reason why this build is referred to as Vulkan is because Vulkan is now the new API instead of OpenGL and Vulkan is said to improve performance on specifically AMD cards, something which has always been spoken about since No Man's Sky first released basically, but also just PCs in general. This was supposed to fix a lot of the stuttering problems, a lot of just random frame rate drops and make the game run a load smoother. Now graphics APIs is something very technical and it's something I don't quite understand because of course it's programming language, but all you should know is that the game should run better if you have an AMD graphics card and performance issues in general general should have been solved as well. There is no guarantee that you will see an FPS boost but a large portion of players have reported the game runs a whole lot better on this experimental build. Now one other very interesting thing which this paragraph does also touch on is the fact that Hello Games are doing major engine changes and these changes are likely due to VR but this could also be to do with optimization or perhaps future proof in the game so bigger and more exciting features can work and optimization will not be an issue. Either way, it is clear that Hello Games are very hard at work on the technical side of No Man's Sky and that is absolutely wonderful to see. The next paragraph says the following. We have also added support for crash reporting. In the event of a crash, call stack data is collected via Steam. We already support this on other platforms. This will enable us to more quickly identify and respond to serious issues. We have updated the EULA to take this into account. So in simple terms, instead of PC users always having to locate the Zendesk in order to send for help in the event of a crash or something breaking on No Man's Sky PC, an inbuilt crash report should come up in the event of the game exploding. Now this allows for Hello Games to get way more data and way more precise data as well because the reports aren't based on what someone is describing, it's actually from the game itself. And as I said, this should allow them to fix big 
issues a lot quicker. Now, the actual patch notes of the Vulcan update are listed on this article, and I will read them as follows. OpenGL has been replaced by Vulcan. Many players, particularly players with AMD graphics card, should see a performance improvement. Revised HDR support. Updated output curve in line with advances in HDR calibration. Adaptive and triple buffered VSync are now selectable from graphics settings. Players with more than one GPU can now select which is used in the graphics setting. Changing the following settings no longer require restarting. Windowed mode, resolution, VSync, shadow detail and reflection quality. The loading shaders load step has now been removed, improving the loading experience. Crash data is gathered via Steam to help us track down and fix issues. So as you can see, there are a load of quality of life improvements, especially to do with the whole window mode and vSync and resolution not requiring a game restart. That was one of the biggest annoyances with No Man's Sky first running it because you were fucking around with your settings and each time you had to restart the game. I also like how the loading shaders part has been removed from the initial boot up of No Man's Sky. When I've been playing with this Vulcan build, I have noticed the game loads so much quicker without having to wait for the shaders to load in. I have no clue how this is done without them being loaded in first of all, but either way, the experience does seem a load better. So guys, as I said, the full article will be linked in the description for your viewing pleasure. I do just want to say thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please do feel free to leave a like on the video. And if you guys could also subscribe to MZK, then I'd be absolutely fantastic. And as always, I will see you guys on my next video. This is Gimboot, signing out.